Steve Mignani here doing the Junkyard Crawl at Burnison Auto Wrecking in Burnson, Mass. And this is a very, very cool thing. Everybody dreams of finding like an old Richard Petty stock car in a junkyard. Well, this isn't quite that, but it is an old New England stock car in the junkyard. You know, there's a book called Cool Car Square Roll Bars. It's about uh, New England race cars. A.B. Schumann wrote it back in, oh, 20 years ago. It's a great book. With that said, this kind of reminds me of a New, York, a New England stock car. Now, something on this we see is the Oilsum logo right there. Now, the White and Bagley Oil Company of Worcester, Mass. in 1905 founded the Oilsum name. And in fact, that's become sort of a go-to name in the world of high performance and racing, especially back in the 50s, 60s, early 70s. Some Indy 500 racers were sponsored by Oilsum. But this is a very cool hand-lettered old hot rod number 56. We see Ernie and Joe, whoever they were, were part of this car. Inside, the cool roll bar, the square roll bar, made out of plumbing pipe right there. Looks like about a, oh, an eight point, whatever it might be, but it's square up top. Look at that. No 90 degrees here. It's all booger welded with, with rod. Uh, the seat is an old bomber seat. You can see it's formed and perhaps maybe a sports car item, but the nails around the perimeter up top on the seat are uh, clearly uh, wood-based. But the dashboard, radio delete plate, plastic. So this is probably about a 1947 or so Ford, but again, radio delete plate, three-speed manual transmission, and something here, a racetrack's mandated. So if you had a crash, the door wouldn't come open. This chain right here, permanently affixes the door in the closed position. But uh, just a neat piece. Now, mostly stock, uh, after all, stock car racing used to be about stock cars. The rear suspension, totally stock. We see here the Ford Banjo type rear axle with the huge bolt pattern, the perimeter bolt pattern here, the friction shock absorber at the back. And this is bone stock stuff used by Ford from 1902 right till 1948 when they finally went to leaf springs at the back. Up front, equally cool. The stock frame has been embellished or supplemented with round tube steel, bars to protect the engine bay during races, and there probably was a flathead Ford up here, something like that, back in the racing day. The friction shocks are present in the counted for down here, these guys. And the way these work, there are discs inside of here that are pressed against each other and they resist the natural up and down motion of that lever. So that's how that works in the days before the advent of uh, hydraulic, you know, piston type shock absorbers, telescoping shocks. Uh, but again, just the push bar up front. The original bumper is still in place, this chrome bumper right here, remnants thereof. But um, coming around this side, you can still see some of the red flame job on this thing. And again, finding an old stock car in the junkyard is a rare treat. Uh, up on top here, you can see right here the tabs where at one point there must have been a sand screen or some sort of a guard that was bolted up in front of the driver so junk wouldn't come into the car. Now the driver's side door is not chained because getting in and out, I, I assume, was something you wanted to open the door or maybe you just crawled to the window, but no chain here. But again, we can see that crazy hand-bent roll cage inside of this thing. The seat is... <laughs> the upper part to the, the seat, the upright. This might even be handmade with those nails right there. Think about this. You're riding in a stock car. These are nails that if you compress hard enough, you're going to find where they are with your back. But anyway, safety schmafety. But uh, cool piece, man. Factory acid dipped right here. Like that. Lightweight stuff right there. You know, every pound that you take out of the car, it's another, uh, another horsepower. But uh, very cool piece, man. Number 56. Here's hats off to Ernie and uh, the builders of this 1956 Oilsum sponsored New England stock car. Got to wonder where it ran. And I love cars. The one thing I don't like is they don't talk. We got to give them a voice or guess for them. But if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the Steve Banks YouTube channel.